So you live in a van and you got all this laundry. What do you do? One thing you can do is do what everybody else does that lives in a small apartment. If you live in a small apartment, most likely you don't have a washer and dryer. So what do you do? Well, you go to, to the laundromat. And <laughs> if you live in a van, or if you live in an RV, most likely you don't have a washer and dryer, so you just go to the laundromat. Of course, before you go do laundry, you gotta put your laundry together, so I got my bag here, and I'm going to start filling it up. Once it's full, then we'll go to the laundromat. Yeah, I use my, um, my ottoman as my chair, and it's my laundry basket. I have some more in the back here. Usually after I'm done with the gym, I just uh, I just throw it over here. It's not functioning yet. Here's the thing: when you go do your laundry, make sure that the laundromat is actually working. This one isn't. No wonder it was so empty. I know of a laundromat not far from here that's where I'll be going just happens to be next to uh, Popeyes what a what a coincidence I um, I don't know what to say except I might I might have uh, Popeyes for dinner maybe take take two I've never been here before so I don't know how clean they are I might be I might be staying Using a washer and dryer is not always the best option, especially if you live on BLM land or forest land or dispersed camping in many different places. I got a little bit of time. I'm going to do some editing. Then after the laundry is done, I'll put it away and have dinner. But first, some editing. all done for the next two weeks or so. Sometimes the best option is just a bucket. You just you just get a bucket, you put your clothing in there and, and you wash it that way. Now for me, that's not really an option because I, I live in, in populated areas. And, and to, to try to do that, and and do all that drying in a van the logistics just just do not do not work like that it would be very hard for me to um for me for me to wash my clothes in a van and i've looked into all that uh, especially in the past when when i was when i was doing cycling and, and i had my bike in the back stick still in the back of the van and um, I was I was riding the bike, and um, and then I would wash my my cycling clothing, and and that stuff cannot be cannot go into a, a regular dryer. So what I would do, I, I would I would string bungees across across the inside of the van here, and I would hang my my cycling uh, clothing, and and just just a few garments of clothing would fill this whole thing i mean you have you have the jersey you have the shorts for for each time i go ride so there's two pieces right there the socks so two three days four days this van was filled 
<laughs> and I have those videos, so go back and, and look at that. So, <clears throat> yeah, try, trying to do my regular wash in a bucket by living in a van and working full time and living where I live, that's, um, that is just, it's just, it's, it's an impossibility. It's, it's impractical. It's not fully impossible. I can't say that that's impossible, impossible, because wherever there's a will, there's a way to do it. So if I, if I had, if I had the will to do it, then, then, then I would, I would, I would make it happen. But the impracticality of it. I mean, I have a lot of clothing. Every every week, let's just say a, a week's worth. I have a, a work shirt, socks, and then I, I have at least one regular uh, shirt for that day. So just one week, it would be for at least 14 t-shirts. And that's just in the summer. Where am I going to hang all that stuff? So you have you have options. If you live in a van, if you live in a city like me, then your your options are very limited. But you can just go to a laundromat. There are like a dime a dozen. It, it doesn't really matter. But if you live, like I said, if you live on BLM land or forest land, you can you can get the bucket. You can get other options. I almost got one of these uh i think it was even 12 volt it's it's not very big you could put your your laundry in there after you wash it and the thing spins at like 3200 rpms and it basically almost dries your clothing so fast it, it rotates and then you can just hang it to dry i mean it's no big deal if if i was living out west that's probably one of the options that i that i could use but even out west and i and i was out there a laundromat, a town, is is never far from you, and you have to go into town to buy supplies and all that. So you might as well go to the laundromat and do your laundry there. But you always have the option of doing it in in your own van or outside your own van. So yeah, the options are many. Just just pick one that suits you. For me right now. A laundromat, even though it's not my favorite thing to do, it's, it's still something I have to do every week. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight.